is going on here? These are bandits. They've taken over Helgen. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Demattis, it's time for us to continue on our journey. It was nice to pass through Riverwood again. But now we have to head to Helgen. There have been reports of people seeing a dragon. And I've been asked to investigate. Fortunately, I've never seen such a thing. But there have been so many various reports throughout Skyrim that people are starting to get worried and nervous. All right, according to the sign, Helgen is this way. So it's believed that the dragon came from Helgen. heard anything from Helgen. Oh no! What? It's been devastated! You don't. What is going on here? These are bandits. They've taken over Helgen. Trained troll, yes. All right, come on, Nematis. All right, I think we need to go into the other part here. But let's go on inside. There could be other bandits in here, loitering about. We need to clean out this place. What? Did you hear that? I heard someone say I yield. are unstable. I think someone's behind this door. There are two people in here. They're bandits. That's power. But they got that secret. You can turn wood into gold. Yeah. Wish I could turn wood to gold. idea. All right, now what are you two going to do? We make quite a team, eh? Mm, Stormcloak soldiers. MP 
scary old soldier. Blood, a lot has happened. It's another dead Imperial. Mercy! What? What was that? Look! Come on! A bandit! He's running! Get him! So, all the people of Helgen? It seems like they're dead. Alright, let's see. Is there anything back here? Looks like some coin purses. Another dead Imperial. Alright, I'm taking all of these books in case they're not on display at the Dragonborn Gallery. He's in here with a chicken? Prisoner's note. I just don't understand what happened. I was on my way to that college with my new pet. And suddenly, when I joined the party, everyone started yelling at me and there was a lot of chaos and confusion. I hope someone free me soon. At least I have chicken. Goodness, they imprisoned him with his own chicken pet. Okay, let's keep going. There could be more bandits in here. No, this person was tortured. There's someone down here. The bandit chief got her. Uh oh. What was that? 
And this is the chief. Alright, this looks expensive. This glass mace, I'll take it. Plenty of gold. Okay. I see lots of dead storm cloaks over here. of them were carrying gold that's been looted from their bodies. Oh no, he was an Imperial soldier. Alright, it looks clear. Let's keep going. Oh. What is this? What was that? Huh? Got you! He's probably not carrying anything that's worth jumping down there to get. Let's keep moving. sell this frostbite venom. Hello? Hello, sir? Rayloff? We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Was that dragon on your side? What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but the city of Helgen has been devastated. 
by presumably what looks like a dragon attack. All right. All right, let's go. I see blood. There still has been no sign of a dragon. Alright, let's get back inside. I think there's still something else that we need to see. supposed to find this corpse. Alright, I need to read this journal. Okay, first entry. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seems quiet for now. Probably the first time since High King Tureg was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night. So long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush there or here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a, a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they've been taking us or where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. Shore's bones, if only I had known sooner the ambush. The captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulrich Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. I'll have to try to get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone has to warn them about this. I still can't believe it. A dragon! straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Oh, and now he's dead. Incinerated, allegedly, by the dragon. Right, 
let's check this area here. There might be some more bandits inside. Take this key. All right, I think I've got those books. This takes us back into the room we first came into. It looks like it's all clear. Let's go, Nematis. All right, we've got to get to Riverwood and warn them about this dragon that has laid waste to the city of Helgen. And yet, there's still no sign of it. Are they really going to follow us into the city? One is... It's still chasing the Mattis. Alright, I guess we are taking on these wolves. Alright, good work everyone, including Dr. Bombay. I know you wanted to get revenge for that thing biting you like that. Okay, um... I guess I'm supposed to report a dragon sighting that I still haven't seen. Um, Alvor. Whatever you need. A I dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. What? Dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. That dragon flew off this way. You, you must have seen it then. You're right. I saw it. Didn't want to believe my own eyes is all. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war. Now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Nematis, come on. We need to go to Whiterun. Here's Dr. Bombay. You you need to get on your own horse. Come on. All right. We're back in White Run. Alvor has asked me to warn them about the dragons. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. 
I have news about the dragons. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Can I help you? Wow, it's been so long since I've been to Whiterun.